elf on the shelf is a deep state conspiracy theory to get kids to accept the surveillance state. Okay? That's all it's there for is to get kids to get used to Big Brother spying on them. That's the only reason they have elf on the shelves. <laughs> okay, that, that's the only... The only justification for Elf on the Shelf is so they can get your kids ready for the NSA looking over their shoulder, for the FBI, the CIA. It's the only reason they have it. It's just a... Can, it's what classical conditioning. I may be using the wrong term. I didn't, I didn't pay attention in psychology class. That's the only reason they have it. You get this creepy looking little goon that sits on a shelf or all over the place on your counters, all over your homes, and watches you, sits in your kid's room. It's creepy. Come on, it's creepy. Sits there and watches your kid, and you tell him, well, if you don't have anything to hide, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. That's the same argument the Nazis use. Elf on the shelf is pro Nazi. And stand by it. I won't allow it in my household. Period. No elf on the shelves. No elf on the shelves. Absolutely. It's banned. Um, if I see an elf on the shelf in my house, feed it to the dog. Let it take it outside. It's, it's, abs- it's off, off limits. Off limits. I guess that's not sending a realistic message either, though, because the elf on the shelf represents the feds, and the feds would just shoot the dog like they're known for doing so well. But no, no no elves. The Santa Claus thing, it's already a little creepy. This guy watches you while you're sleeping, but I get it. To keep kids in line, you know, it's the magic of Christmas. But elf on the shelf really did. Like, Santa Claus, you always knew Santa was watching. It was kind of fun, and Santa was this big jolly guy. But elf on the shelf really brings, like, a creepy vibe to Christmas. Like, it's this strict authoritarian, he's always watching you. You know what I mean? Like, like it's, this, it, it's, it's a creepy vibe. It's not the same as Santa Claus making a list and checking it twice. Like, you got these little narcs sitting throughout your house, snitching on you. Do the roar. That's another thing. I, I mean, no, not going to say that. Never mind. Never mind. Not, not even going to make that joke. It's, it's not funny enough. Like what I learned in comedy is, if you're gonna make a racist joke, you need to take a swing, and you're gonna take a swing like that. It better connect, and I don't have the confidence that that's gonna connect. And I really don't want to put out a bad product for you guys. So it's not about me worried about being canceled. They're not gonna cancel me on this network. I just want my jokes to land, and that wasn't funny enough. And if you're gonna take a big swing, you don't want to make people groan. You know what I mean? So I'm not even gonna say it. But Elf on the Shelf, stop putting it in your house. It's a corporate conspiracy. You can they basically give them away. They're like four dollars at the store. Why do you think it's so cheap? Nothing's four dollars anymore, except Elf on the Shelf because they want to condition your kids. Because it's probably a CIA black project meant, to, like I said, condition your children into accepting the surveillance state. Stop taking part in it. Stop funding it. Just knock it off. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.